tying and tying time into knots that unravel with minutes. Eyeing our carriage at a moving destination. With a money girl and a passenger of fortune. The first had eyes that were round, cold and hard. The queen's head on one side, the queen's tail on the other, so that either way you're lost. The second couldn't say words with S in them, success and psychology accepted. Even his weakness was weak. I said by way of opening, everything ends in death. And the conversation lapsed for a while. They talked among themselves, words like damn and tremble and now. But I carried on inventing window stickers with a blind. And their mouths tightened into knots. I think they were very physically aware. The money girl turned. Two handed, I caught her intentions. The passenger of fortune lifted at me from the shelter of his speech impediment. She'd carry a weapon. I kicked in the roof of his mouth and his stomach walls, his fallen arches, and I tore the cathedral from his back. In short, I demolished him. His girlfriend touched his eyes but took his money. She was stamped all over, loyalty, and she wore nothing but currency. Yet she stole the pennies from his eyes to offer to me. I was sickened by her lack of compassion. But when she removed her last pound note, I poured my thoughts on the subject into her eager container. And we ate, tearing up the carriage in our haste. Messiah! 
We involved ourselves in passion. She and her lost role as innocence. Gaman, street waif, orphan child. And I? Well, I provided the equipment, free from the restrictions of paradise. Mouths open, mouths closing, heat on heat causing condensation to drip from the brocade wall to wall to cool our burning flesh. She was a vessel I knew for my completest trust. To the sound of twanging heartstrings and a mournful banjo plunk. I placed my whole being in her care, thinking I should journey forever, swallowing time and favors and giving nothing in return. It was thus that my eyes opened, widened. Surprise, disillusion, shock As I saw her slide the smooth, slim blade That had belonged to the late passenger of fortune Between my ribs I wonder where she'd hidden it As she eyed my spasms with suspicious interest and a small drop of eagerness hung from her tongue tip. In the small time that remained, I noticed that we appeared to have reached the station. Hastily, I scooped the wet redness from my side into my ever-present hip flask and labeled it relevant. I laughed, a dry sound of guts. <laughs> That'll give them something to think about. And my time unraveled, unwound, slipped sideways, and died.